While negotiations are still ongoing between the state and Twinza Oil Limited for the Pasca A gas condensate field off the coast of Gulf Province, the Gulf Provincial Government has entered into a non-binding agreement with Twinza Oil Limited to pursue opportunities for industrialization in the province. The signing of this MOA is a business venture the Gulf Provincial Government is taking to boost non-hydrocarbon sectors such as forestry, fisheries, agriculture, manufacturing and transport, among others. We've got uh, timber industry uh, in the province. We've got uh, five concessions that at the moment, because of the high costs uh, uh, that, uh, of production, have been uh, uh, closed down. We've also got a prone uh, industry uh, in the province and also uh, other marine resources that are hardly tapped at all. So uh, for us, once we get an industrial uh, centre going, we'll tap in into these. Governor Haiveta says by taking this approach, his provincial government intends to buy all of the domestic market obligations and aggregate natural gas from the Pasca A gas development project and generate 200 megawatts of electricity using dry gas for non-hydrocarbon customers in the province. This electricity will be generated by a power plant located within the vicinity of the Pasca project production platform and transported by subsea cables to transformers located on shore near the provincial capital, Kerama. In anticipation of national content provisioning I'm, I'm entering into these heads of agreement, it's non-binding as between themselves. And it spells out potential business relationships they will enter into down the, down the track where Twinja, as uh, the producer of the oil and gas, will uh, make available some of their gas uh, to the Gulf Provincial, uh, Gulf Provincial government owned commercial entity and that entity will use it to generate electricity for the people of Gulf and any businesses and industries that set up there. While the signing of the MOA is a business venture for the province, discussions on the fiscal terms between the state and Twinza Oil Limited are still ongoing. Twinza's PNG country manager Rope Uyasi in a statement said the company is working with the government to come to an agreement that allows the gas project to move forward while providing a higher state take than in previous projects. Chief Executive Officer of Twinza Oil Limited Ian Munro said discussions will also address non-fiscal opportunities. Clearly the, the, the non-fiscals, we might include the domestic market obligation, local content, third party access. You know, I, I sense that there is good alignment between the sides. The devil is always in the, the detail, but I, I'm confident we'll get a, an agreement that works for both parties. Monroe says once the Pasca A gas agreement and the petroleum development license are in place, the project is well positioned to enter front end engineering and design or feed. Hopefully that will be as soon as this, uh, this month. We would then uh, issue our tenders for feed and we would plan to enter feed on the project before year end, which would put us in a position to make our final investment decision towards the end of next year. And uh, the company would hope to see production uh, being delivered to, to the Gulf and elsewhere, international markets in 2024. The estimated cost currently is somewhere around six to 700 million US dollars for the initial phase of the development, which will deliver LPG's condensate. Minister for Petroleum and Energy Karen Gakua expressed delight in the steps taken by Gulf Provincial Government and Twinza Oil Limited by looking ahead to make things happen. Our next challenge is to make sure we uh, agree to the terms of the gas agreement. We sign off and then this one is already will be in place to kick in also to help uh, the people of Gulf Province uh, take advantage of opportunities that come out of the use of resources from their own province. Minister Kua added that the signing between Gulf Provincial Government and Twinza Oil Limited finds a fit with the overall scheme of things the national government is approaching.